Hello, Misty Winkler coming to you here, crisscross applesauce in front of my Christmas tree. Because now that Christmas is over and soon these decorations will be put away and it will be time to reorganize our whole life, right? The fresh new year, it's time. This is going to be the year, the week, maybe that we're gonna put it all in order and start fresh. It's the new year's a dream that it is so hard to not succumb to. But I'm here with a little bad news today. Organization is not something that you can just plan out and install in your life in say a week or two or even a month. January is not the time you're going to drop 20 pounds or clean and organize your whole house. Getting organized isn't the kind of thing that you can just sketch out on paper and then start off organized from the get-go the first day of school again in January. It's alarming, but true. But that doesn't mean that any effort to be more organized is a waste of time. It just means we have to be content with baby steps. When we look around the house and we see the chaos, when we look back at our previous year and see all the new habits that we think will make all the difference, we hope for, we plan for, the quick fix in January. We look for the secret sauce, the new system that will change everything. But real change comes step by step, gradually over time. We don't want organization on the boom and bust cycle. But working for that boom moment of having everything put together all at once means that the bust will come. It's not sustainable. It's not lasting change. So even as we do plan for a new year and we do list out those new habits, the new plans that we do hope to work on this coming year, we just need to take the long view with them. Instead of hoping to get organized in a week or even in a month, we have to be content, prepared, ready for organization to take a year, maybe even more. But in a year, you can see real lasting change if you work intentionally with baby steps. We need baby steps because getting from where we currently are in the midst of chaos and muddle and mess to achieve a clean and organized house is a journey. A journey that's accomplished step by step, one step at a time. Not something that just we snap our fingers and make a few changes and suddenly everything is amazingly different. We have to transform not just our house and our circumstances when we get organized. What we're really changing when we get organized is ourselves. And that takes time. Sanctification is a process. And the work of being organized of fulfilling faithfully our responsibilities at home and being home managers who do not eat the bread of idleness, that's personal change and personal growth. That's sanctification. It's worthwhile and it is a gradual process that takes time. Sometimes we also look to organization to be the finish line the thing that once we achieve it, install it, click it into place, everything moving forward will be different. 
when really getting organized is more like laundry. No matter how good you get at it, it's something you still have to keep doing. It doesn't really go away. You can have a backlog and you can be unskilled in it and it can be a drag and it can be discouraging and a big pile that necessitates project level work. Or you can be on top of it, noticing what needs to be done and weaving it into your everyday life so that it just becomes part of your rhythm. But the laundry never goes away. We just change how we handle it. And it's the same with organization. Organization isn't a level that you pass into and then suddenly you're, you're good to go. Organization is something that we maintain, we keep up over time, that we work into the rhythms of our life. So even if we do clean and organize our whole house, it doesn't stop there. We have to continually be maintaining and working at it and life will change. And then our needed skills and our working rhythms will also have to change and adjust to whatever circumstances we're currently in. And that doesn't mean that our plans or our work have failed. It just means that we have more organizing work to do. And the more we do the work, the better we get at it. So just like working laundry into our regular routine, we work being organized into our regular routine and cheerfully do the work of managing our household with faithfulness and fruitfulness in gratitude. If you wanna join other women who are going to be spending a year organizing their home, then come join us in Convivial Circle for Simplified Organization Community Coaching. We're going to take all of 2024 with a six week summer break in the middle to work through our whole home and life management system, baby step by baby step, always working on our own selves, our own habits, our own attitudes first and foremost, but examining our whole life, increasing the amount of faithfulness and attention and effort that we put where it's needed in our own particular households. Simplified Organization Community Coaching is the instruction and camaraderie and accountability that you need to take a year to get organized. And we have a lot of fun together. We'd love to have you join us. Go to simplyconvivial.com and click the green enroll button to get started. It's included in your membership of Convivial Circle. You can also find a link in the description of this episode or go to simplyconvivial.com and click the green enroll button. Getting organized will take more than a week, more than a month. It will take a full year of intentional effort. And after that year, it will still take work. Organizing isn't something that ever ends. It's just a set of skills we get better and better at applying to our current circumstances. And in the whole process, we must repent, rejoice, 